Now that we have our tunnel aligned with the right alignment, we can start using these edit tunnel tools. The first we'll use is edit rotation. A tunnel rotation may be used as sort of a super elevation in tunnels, where we'll tilt one side of the tunnel higher than the other. We have a simple UI here consisting of the station you want to apply the rotation to, the rotation, and a horizontal center and a vertical center if you want to rotate it about something different than the center of the alignment. So we'll go ahead and enter a rotation at station 0. And these are rather large rotation for viewing purposes here, so we'll call it 20 degrees. And we'll leave our horizontal and vertical center at 0. So to see this rotation, we'll open up our tunnel view. And you can see here we have a severely tilted tunnel. We can go along the slider, and we can see that this tilt persists at every station along the tunnel. We can also see here in this text box we have a rotation of 20 degrees. So this is important to note is that when you apply a rotation or an offset, it will apply all the way until the end of your tunnel unless specified otherwise. So let's say we just want this tunnel rotation to appear along this sort of curve. And we want to end it around station 250. So we'll enter in station 250 here. And for our rotation, we'll put 0 degrees to end it. Now, if we look through our tunnel, we'll see that we get a slow interpolation all the way to station 250. We might not necessarily want that, so we'll create a, another station just before that, and we'll call it 249.99, and we'll enter a value there of 20. You'll see when I enter stations out of order, TBC will automatically rearrange them. Now if we look at our station slider, this angle of 20 degrees persists up until 250 where it almost immediately ends. Now if we want to do something where it just tapers off at the end, then we can change the station to 260. We can edit that. And now we can look at it at 250. It's a more gradual interpolation down to zero. One important thing to note with tunnel rotations is the units. We can see here we're at h20 degrees, and that means it's a rotation about the horizontal axis. In these fields, we can also input as percents. Say we want to enter 10%, we can do that, and it will automatically convert for us. These units are also controlled in the project settings under the units and the vertical angle. The TBC default is zenith angle, which is 0 degrees about the y-axis. But when you import a TXL, this will be changed to the horizontal angle, which is 0 degrees about the x-axis, as previously said. You might also want to change this to percent slope, or maybe slope ratio, if your project's working in those, and that will change your display unit. So we can change it to percent slope here. And now we can see all our values in our tunnel rotation are percent along with in our tunnel view.